Yeah. Ooh, look at that to toast right there. That looks great. My goodness. A little bit of um, cream cheese on tiny little Melba toasts right there, and that will make a, for a perfect breakfast or lunch. We're talking about mulberries because fruit is growing throughout Baltimore City. Mulberry Marinus is happening right now. The benefit of that fruit and a whole lot more that Eric Sargent, planning coordinator with Civic Works Baltimore Orchard Project, is showing us this morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Yeah, so tell us about this. I, when I came over, I instantly went to, oh, this must not taste the same. I would go for the one in the middle because it looks like that's ripe. And you said, no, actually. Yeah, so actually uh, we have a variety of mulberries here. And um, the Baltimore Orchard Project is raising awareness about these mulberries that are growing yeah. in the city here. And we're, we're a program with Civic Works and are working to... Um, plant and cultivate orchards in the city and mulberries happen to be a fruit that's already here so there's the um, red mulberry and the white mulberry and the white mulberry actually has a little bit more sweet honey flavor to it okay. than the red mulberry but I like both equally we also have dried mulberries here today which is a great way to take the mulberries and preserve them so you can use them long term uh, you can freeze mulberries too I know that I mean them and then you put them in the freezer that's why you have the shakes out here I noticed um, and also the jams that you can create out of mulberries absolutely so we're we're partnering with a lot of um, different restaurants throughout the mulberry madness yeah. um, this month and often what we do is provide the frozen mulberries because that's a great way to make pastries um, the smoothie we we have here today which is delicious um, and other options like that I, I have to say I, let me see if I can hold this up I don't know um, uh, Kevin, can you get a tight shot of that? The, the Cafe Hun or the Hun kind of hairdo with the mulberry, that's, that's pretty nice. I, I like that. These mulberries, though, are the ones that, the same ones that we find on our windshields from time to time and landing on our cars. And you, you think, oh, they're just a nuisance. But now we're finding out a lot more about the nutrients in them. Correct. So that's one of the reasons why we started this whole thing in yeah. the Mulberry Madness campaign was to say, you know, a lot of people complaining about fruit trees in the city and right. saying, hey, this is something that drops on my car. This is a nuisance. Yeah. And in response, we've created this whole campaign about mulberries and how they're actually something that's useful and you right. can harvest them in advance. So taking uh, less mulberries, dropping on your car and eating more and, <laughs> and, and letting them end up in your mouth instead. Uh, hair, skin, nails, eyes, um, anti-cancer with the anti-inflammatories, you know, the antibiotics that are in there or the anti-inflammatories that are inside mulberries, a whole list of benefits there. This is called the Orchard Project, though. So when you hear orchards, you automatically go outside of a city, but yet you're saying, no, we've got to change the mindset there and keep it in the city. Exactly. So that's okay. what the uh, Civic Works Orchard Project yeah. is all about, is transforming people's concept of what does it mean to live in the city, and we're creating a more edible Baltimore here um, in, in Baltimore City and sort of changing how people think we're, we're walking along and we're harvesting mulberries and people yeah. come by on the sidewalk and say hey what are you guys doing and we're like actually there's fruit here and they're like wow i can eat this this is right yes. in my backyard so all right and of course we can go to your website and find out all the recipes that you have laid out for us too you have some uh recipes yeah so we have um, okay. a lot of events month of june is mulberry madness month so we have harvest you can come out and join us to harvest uh, we have restaurant tasting yeah. events so uh, black sauce and okay. Michelle's granola, uh, Cafe Jovial, Bird in Hand, a bunch of restaurants will Sounds be good. cooking with uh, mulberries. All right, well, there you go. Thank you so much. Eric Sargent, thank you so much for telling us about this and the Civic Works and mulberries falling on our head. Jonathan, perfect day to be outside picking mulberries as yeah. you're walking around Baltimore City, right? Just to eat those right off the tree. Great.